what is going on everybody welcome to froggy stocks nothing i say is financial advice entertainment purpose only not financial advisor all right everyone keeps asking me more about direct registration drsing amc shares and i'm gonna first start with why i did it and my thesis behind it it's the gamestop thesis it's not my original idea obviously uh, me and swing trade for mars been talking about it a lot lately Direct registration, computer share is the official transfer agent for AMC theaters. Now this is important because every meeting that AMC has, they get a little book and it tells them how many shares they have outstanding, who owns them. It actually will name you individually by name if you're direct registered. So it's very important. It's how they keep track of their shares and what's going on. The whole problem we're having is, are there synthetic shares out there? Well, six months ago, we came up with a theory that said the average shareholder of 4 million apes holds at least 500 shares apiece. User of intellect, let me bring the tweet up, just came out this week and said that their log the float uh, program that they did, if you guys aren't aware of it, very, very cool program they did. They got people to um, volunteer and show them and prove that they held a certain number of shares Sorry, let me find it right here, right? To try to show and prove that there's a certain number of shares over the legally issued float that's out in the market, more than the 40% that um, market makers are allowed to do. And it says right here, use of intellect, AMC hashtag log the float data project can now confirm that based on a large sample of about 20 million shares of AMC submitted by 10,000 AMC investors, the median, the most accurate measure of central tendency in such cases is 615 shares per retail investor data model to publish soon. Phenomenal job user of intellect and everybody that um, participated in that. So we guessed about 500 based on polls and just basic data that Adam Aaron got us. They got 615 now today, six months later. Very, very cool. So now back to computer share. Now we understand what the, the reasoning behind direct registration is. We would direct register shares of AMC to computer share, which is the official transfer agent right here, boom, for AMC theaters, right? Every share for one, every share that you register, you direct register is one share that cannot be shorted or lent out by institutions. So that's a very big deal. As we register more shares, cost to borrow is going to increase because the people lending shares institutionally to short are going to have less shares to do it with market makers are going to have less shares to create, which means they got to make the money up on the interest rate compared to the volume total that they were doing before Two, If we log the entire flow of 516 million, um, 800, some thousand, right? AMC shares, 516.8 million shares. If we log that entire float, it proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that there are shares out there past the legally issued amount that AMC authorized. That is a very big deal. If we can do that, that gives Adam Aaron and the board of directors at AMC extreme legal precedent to go to the DTCC and claim no faith in share management. If there are over 140% of the shares out there, then they can recall their shares, baby. That's it. Game over. If we log the float, not only that, it shows the entire world we were correct. And you're going to trigger this crazy FOMO situation. Short sellers are going to go running for the hills. Very important. Now, if we stay conservative and say that every 4 million retail apes, let's bring the calculator up and I'll do it right in front of your faces. All 4 million retail AMC investors that Adam Aaron has identified multiple times. He even said 4.1 million. Four, oh, come on now. Four million. Now what's going on? There. Four million times 500, right? Two billion shares. Two billion AMC shares minus the float. We'll just use 516, 800 for uh, just general purposes. That would mean there are 1.5. 4832 billion shares out in the market, not legally authorized by AMC, past the legally issued float, past the outstanding 
Pesio's standing float, right? So that's a big deal. That gives us massive legal precedence to destroy these hedge funds that are illegally shorting this company to death to try to consolidate market share. How do you do that? Computer share. The number one most efficient legal way to get this done is through computer share, the official transfer agent. Now there's two ways to do that. One, you can call your broker and request that your shares, however many you wanna put in, I honestly recommend not putting in more than 10%. Personally, you do what you want though. I did about 20, 25% already. Uh, and I'm buying shares on computer share from here on out. If you have fidelity, they will do it for free. You can call them and say, I would like my shares transferred to computer share. I want 10% of what I own transferred, right? All your transactions have to be cleared. That means you have to own the stock. You have to have no transactions waiting to clear for the T plus three or whatever it is. They'll do it for free. Now, here's another big problem we ran into when people started trying to do this. They were like, well, Webull's going to charge me 150 bucks, which they will, 175 bucks. My main question to you is, why are you still on Webull? We know this. You don't understand the assignment. Webull is a payment for order flow broker. You cannot buy shares to the lit exchange on Webull, which helps Citadel and all the short sellers. Fidelity by direct lit exchange. It's a really easy thing to do. I've actually got another video on it. I'll try to link it into this one. You want to buy shares through Fidelity. You want to do a limit order, fill or kill to one of the direct lit exchanges on Fidelity to make sure you're not engaging in payment for order flow, right? If you do have a broker like that and you don't want to pay the obscene fee, you can do two things. You can one, you can transfer your shares from Webull to Fidelity, which I think is like a $70 fee. Or two, you can go directly to computer share right here, right here. I don't know how to do all that. And what you want to do is you're going to go to log in to Investor Center. You're not going to have an account yet. Don't worry about that. Now what's going to happen, uh, don't even worry about registering yet, right? This is where the tricky part is. Do not worry about registering yet. They're going to take care of that for you all in their system when you make your first purchase. Make a meme stock purchase. <laughs> meme stock purchase. Ding, 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 ding. Boom. Here you go. All you got to do, go up in the top. AMC theaters, bing bong, click it. It's going to bring you up to direct stock purchasing. Now, new shareholders, one-time fee of $25 or a recurring shareholder, $10. Existing shareholder, a one-time fee of $10. So when you buy the stock, if you already own shares, it should only charge you 10 bucks once they register you in because they're going to see you already own shares in a Fidelity brokerage account. If not, you're going to pay the one-time $25 fee. Not too big of a deal, much cheaper than Webull. But when you buy these shares through computer share, it is a 100% direct lit exchange purchase of AMC stock registered on the book in your name. Big deal. Online investment fees. Five bucks one-time investment recurring to 50, 5% max you're going to pay a fee because you're not getting a free trade because you're not engaging in payment for order flow. But the impact that every share you buy this way has is 10 times that of 100 shares that you buy on Webull. So you do that, click invest now. Hopefully all my personal information doesn't come up. Nope, good. There you go. How do you want to invest? Recurring, one time, or both? Uh, if you're doing it for your first time, this is what you got to decide. Do you want to do recurring investments? Do you want to do one time or both? Uh, you can click any of these. Personally, I clicked one. The first time I did it, I clicked one time. But if you want to do a recurring investment and it's a little cheaper, you make your one time investment. You do it here. How many How many would you like to do one time? Uh, just say you want to buy one share, right? And then how many do you want to do on a recurring basis each month? Uh, okay, five shares each month. And then you can pick your dates here. Boom, monthly first and 15th, monthly 15th, monthly on the first. Hit next. Uh, there was one time investment amount in our list. Oh, sorry. Yeah, there's a minimum. I forgot there's a minimum amount. There you go. Here, we'll just, we'll just click one time just to make this easier. Click 10, boom. Come on computer, let's go. Why is it doing this? Oh, it's in dollars. I'm sorry, I'm brain dead today. It's a minimum investment amount of $25. So that's you have to do $25 minimum to, to make it. There we go. Sorry about that. It's not shares, it's dollars. Boom. Next. 
And then you put all your information in name, make sure it's all correct. Name, street address, phone number, all that email address, make sure it's all correct. You hit next. Then it's going to take you to your credit card portal. I'm not going to put all my stuff in there because obviously obvious reasons. Once you get it all in there and it's correct, you go to credit card portal or debit card portal. You put your info in, you buy the shares. You are going to immediately get text messages telling you, welcome to computer share, blah, blah, blah. We're processing your order and you're going to get a bunch of emails. Now it's going to take up to three days to get these shares purchased. Your order goes in directly if you put it on during market hours, right? But it's going to take up to three days to purchase and get done. Then it's going to take up to five days for them to finalize setting up your account. Save all your receipts. Don't delete any of your emails. Five days later, you're going to get emails saying, welcome com computer share. Your account has been set up and it's going to take you through a process of verification, right? So it's going to go through, you type in your stuff. Yeah, this is me. And then it's going to ask you questions like you would get on a um, loan application. Like, did you used to live here? What kind of vehicle do you had? Answer all that. If you answer and it's right and it says it's not correct, don't worry. They're going to send you a mail, a snail mail letter with a verification code. Once you get it, you can jump back in, put the code in, then you can access all your shares anytime you want, buy or sell as much as you can. So the FUD, well, how do we sell our shares if it's all locked into computer share and we can never sell our shares? What if the squeeze? All you got to do is lock in and place your trade. It takes a little bit longer, but all you have to do is log in, place your trade. And that's where this comes in. This is a tweet I made the other day. Uh, how you sell shares with computer share puts an end to all the FUD people are spreading due to not knowing what they're talking about, starting to wonder about some of y'all, blah, 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 that's me being sassy. Orders are placed promptly upon the receipt uh, the day of. Click this link and it is going to tell you exactly how to buy and sell shares on computer share. Very simple document, two pages, and you can see right here. The company in which you own stock has elected to use direct registration systems as its mean of recording stock ownership. This brochure outlines what DRS means to you, the shareholder. DRS is share ownership without paper stock certificates. Your shares are held in book entry form as the company's transfer agent. Computer share keeps a record of your shares on the company's register of owners. When you transfer or sell DRS shares, the transaction takes place a lot electronically without the movement of stock certificates. Following page explain more. Why is the company using DRS? This is why AMC uses DRS. Eliminates your risk of loss, theft or destruction of certificates, old paper stock certificates, plus the time and expenses to replace the lost certificate. Eliminates the cost of maintaining a secure place to keep your certificates, like, I don't know, a burnt down Fidelity warehouse in Chicago. Hmm. Makes your stock transactions faster, saves the company unnecessary printing and mailing, supports U.S. securities, blah, blah, blah. Offers a quick, convenient way of selling your DRS shares. You don't have to file any paperwork. You log into the system. Once your account's completed, you click it, you sell your shares. Now, here is uh, another theory on DRS. The whole theory is HODL. HODL until we squeeze the shorts out, right? That's the theory. If you have instant access to sell your shares on your brokerage, chances are you're going to paper hand earlier than you anticipated because people just do. That's, that's just the human nature. Retail sells too much. That is a fact. We trade too much. We sell too much. That's why people lose money. If we DRS the float, the entire float, right? Say 500,000 people DRS the float. Not only do we prove we're right, we put the pinch on the shorts. We have legal, like legal ammunition out the wazoo for Adam Aaron and AMC to go after the DTCC and the short sellers. But if we DRS the float, that means that every other share out there is synthetic. Now, whether you own that or not, it doesn't matter. You own that share that was created by the market maker or the DTCC. That share has to be bought back by short sellers. That is still over 1.4 billion shares. So if the entire float's logged and they've shorted the company over 100%, if you leave your shares in the DRS system, the squeeze could be infinite. That's called diamond handing, baby. That's what it is. So 
How do I sell my DRS shares? You may sell your shares through the DRS sales facility administered by Computer Share Trust Company NA. The types of sale orders available may be different for each company. You may go online to Computer Share Investor or call Computer Share to find out what order types. Market order, batch order, day limit, good till canceled are their fees. Sales proceeds and market orders, day limit orders, good to cancel limit orders equal the market price that the broker receives for your shares less applicable taxes and fees. So there are fees. That's the only downside. But when we squeeze, if we do squeeze, none of that's going to matter to you. Can I transfer my DRS shares in my brokerage? Yes. Your broker to request your shares be sent to them through the depository trust company's direct registration profile. You will need to supply your broker with a copy of your latest DRS statement and the following information, which is here. It's simple. You can transfer your shares from your broker to DRS, or you can transfer your shares from DRS to broker. If your broker wants to charge you an obscene fee because you're with Webull or one of these other shitty brokers that rips retail off all the time, but people still, for some reason, stay with them. I don't know why. I don't understand why. Then you can go directly to Computer Share and take control yourself, buy your shares on Computer Share. Now, really think about this. We've came up with the 500 average share theory per 4 million investors. User of Intellect came out did two, what, 20 million shares at uh, 10,000 investors. And they said that it's a 645 share average per investor. Guys, in theory, if 4 million investors, if, if 4 million investors, where's my calculator? I'll do this, I'll try to do this right. 4 million investors, right? And they own... How many? 1.45 billion shares, right? So 1.45 billion shares. Let's see if we do this math right. 1, 4, 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, right? Times 10, 10%. Right there. 10% of those shares, that's 145 million shares right off the bat. That's just 10% of the total of the 1.45 billion. That's so, it's, it's just crazy. 4 million investors who all own 500 shares, right? 4 times 500. We're using 500 as our conservative estimate. 2 billion shares. If we all register 10% of that, how many shares is that? That gets us to 200 million shares. There's 198 shares owned by institution. If we all just did 10%, that's 200 million shares. If everybody did that, which they're doing way more, I've got investors saying they're, they're logging like 50,000 shares. I, I think just alone in my DMs from the push last month, there was over 500,000 shares that people had DRS in the past couple of weeks. If we DRS 200 million shares, right? And we know institutions supposedly own 198 million. That's almost 400 million shares right there. Now, how many shares are also shorted or loaned out? hundred and what it was 120 million shares shorted now we can use this just that alone would be enough to triangulate that we have way past the float issued so 10 percent gets us to 200 million 20 percent gets us to 400 million that's all we need to break this thing down that's not much out of my portfolio to to set aside to promote the biggest squeeze in history. It's, it's absolutely mind boggling. And remember what I said, if we log the float and those shares are in the DRS system and you still own all your shares in your brokerage account, say you have, say you have a thousand shares and you log 200 shares and you still have 800 left over. When we start popping off and squeezing, if everybody leaves their shares in the DRS system, the entire float is always logged no matter what, which we know if we do that, that AMC is 100% shorted or more. That is a huge, huge potential for the biggest squeeze in history. So that's the video breakdown, super simple. DRS, all the links are here. You can find the computer share link on the uh, investor.amctheaters.com. It's the official transfer agent. It'll take you to this page. Go back, watch the part of the video where I explained how to navigate through once you buy your shares, you're going to get all kinds of texts and emails. Then they're going to set your account up for you. Then they're going to send you another email to verify later on. 
then you're going to answer the security questions. You're going to have access to your account to buy and sell whatever you want to do. If you mess up on the verification, don't worry. At the end, it'll say we're going to send you a snail mail paper copy with a registration code. So there's that. Don't forget, user of intellect and me and my crew, we all came to the same conclusion. Five, 500 shares per shareholder. They came to 615 shares. I'm sorry, 615 shares average. All the links are on my Twitter. We did the math. That's computer share. Don't forget to read this document that's linked in the, in the, in the Twitter thing that I did. It tells you exactly what's going on. Bing bong. That's why GameStop's doing it. They've logged over 12 million shares of their flow. Absolutely amazing. Woo! That's all I got for you. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope it was intelligible. If you have questions, please drop them in the comments section. I will answer them. If you're on Twitter, please DM me. It would probably be better if everybody just put them in the YouTube comments and then I know it's consolidated and I can get to them. Thank you all for coming. Please like and subscribe. Please share the video to anybody that has DRS questions. It's not a complicated process, guys. We can end this today. If we log the float in the DRS system, that is a reconciled share count and we're done. We win. Thank you very much. Enjoy your night. Froggy.